Are you at increased risk of contracting COVID-19? Or are you at risk of having a more severe infection just because you have MS? Don't turn away, because I'm gonna answer that question starting right now. Howdy, thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. We are in the midst of a global viral pandemic, COVID-19, and people with MS have been asking me if they're at increased risk of contracting COVID because they have MS. They're asking me, are they at risk of having a more severe course of infection just because they have MS? People with MS have questions about their immune status and what it means in the setting of this viral pandemic. There's a lot of confusion and a lot of fear. And in this video, I'm gonna lay it out for you. So let's jump in. The question of the day is, are people with multiple sclerosis immunosuppressed? Write down your response and tune in to the end of this video to find out the answer. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune condition where the immune system inappropriately attacks parts of your own body, in this case, the brain and spinal cord, thinking it's attacking a foreign invader. In essence, people with MS have a heightened immune response. Their immune system is revved up. They are not immunosuppressed. That's right, people with multiple sclerosis are not immunosuppressed. I view them as having an overly active immune system. And having MS in and of itself does not increase the risk of contracting COVID. That actually has nothing to do with MS. It has to do with exposure. And people with MS are not at increased risk of having a more severe COVID infection if they contract the virus just because they happen to have MS. Now, the caveat is someone with very advanced MS who is unable to move their arms and legs or take deep breaths, someone with severe disability from multiple sclerosis would be at increased risk. But for the vast majority of people living with multiple sclerosis, they are not at increased risk of a more severe infection if they contract COVID. However, some of the disease-modifying therapies which are used to treat MS do so by suppressing the immune system. A human with MS on one of those medicines that suppresses the immune response might be at increased risk of a more severe infection. But that has to do with the specific type of disease-modifying therapy, not the underlying disease. By way of quick review, there are factors which would increase a given individual's risk of having a more severe COVID infection. They include age over 60, cardiovascular disease, such as hypertension, diabetes, coronary artery disease, or lung disease, such as severe asthma, COPD, etc. A smoking history, and, as I mentioned earlier, an immunosuppressed state. The answer to the question of the day is no. People with multiple sclerosis are not immunosuppressed, and having MS in and of itself does not increase the risk of contracting COVID-19, and it does not increase the risk of a more severe infection. If you would like to learn more about MS and COVID-19, click the video that's on your screen right now. My name's Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or my next live stream, be safe and take care.